Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator. Hope everyone's having a great start to their week. Let's get right into our emails and see what we have to work with today. Uh, let's see, let's do this one first here. It says, you work with computers, right? I'm in the market for a new PC. I really want it. I really want to be able to run a Euro Truck Simulator 2, a recommended spec. You've got to get it done by tomorrow. I heard you guys put used parts in PCs. Please don't do that. I read that Intel parts are really good. So James would like a PC to play Euro Truck Simulator 2 on for 1200 bucks. I think we can make that happen. Let's go ahead and accept that one. Robinator. Okay, this is going to sound weird, but I think my computer is going crazy. I know you got rid of all the viruses you found, but I'm still seeing glitches on the screen, and now they're happening more and more often. It's almost like the shape of, and this is going to sound dumb, a skull. Oh, I think this is the one from, was it the last episode or the previous episode before that where I said I saw a skull on his desktop? Anyway, I thought at first that it might have been some kind of signal in interference from a TV or radio or something, but well, uh, take a look for yourself. I guess something weird happened because of that virus before and it never got fully cleaned up. I think a fresh start is best. Could you just completely replace the hard drive with a new one? and reinstall the OS, Rob. We can definitely do that for you, Rob. Well, let's go ahead and accept that one. And then I think this one, yep, this one also has to be done by tomorrow, so let's skip those other two and go straight to this one. It says, hello, I need a new computer if you're available. Overwatch, minimum spec is my favorite game right now, so it has to run. Can you do it by tomorrow? I know used parts can be cheaper, but I'd like new ones, please. Have you heard of Intel? They're meant to be pretty good. Look forward to hearing back from you, David. So David would like to have a PC to play Overwatch for 1500 bucks. I think we can make that happen as well. So this first one for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Let's take a look here at will it run? What was it? Recommended spec. So a Ryzen 5 quad core 1400 and an R9 280. He wants Intel though. So let's go to our part ranking. Come down here. And what was it? A Ryzen 5 quad core 1400. So we're going to need at least an i5 a 7500 to match that. I think we can do better than that though. So I'm going to step away and get a build put together and be right back. So for this Euro Truck Simulator 2 build, we're gonna go with the Asus Tough Z370 Plus Gaming, an i3-8350K, which on the part ranking is up by two from the 1400, which was the recommended spec, a Silverstone HE-01 air cooler, two sticks of ADATA, Flame 8 gig 3008Z RAM, a 1060 gaming 3 gig, 450 watt power supply, an ADATA M.2 drive, I believe it was 240 gigs. We're going to put that in an Antec P8 case. So for the um, graphics card, it needed an R9 280. Let's go up here just to make sure I'm still doing it right. 280, where are you? 290. So there's the 280. And we're going with a 1063 gig. So we're definitely above what's needed for that build. So we will get D. Wiseman's build put together here for Overwatch. So let's come back over here. Let's go down to Overwatch. And he wants minimum spec. So at least an i5-7400 and a 1066 gig. So I will get something put together and be right back. So for the Overwatch build, we're going to go with a MSI Z270 Gaming Pro Carbon, an i7-7700K, a Cooler Master Master Liquid 240, some Trident Z RGB 8 gig 3000 MHZ, two sticks of that, a Zotac 1070 Mini, we're going to put another, we're going to put a B450, 
whatever it is, EVGA 450B3 power supply in it, like the other build, an A-Data Ultimate 240 gig SSD, and we're going to put that in a Corsair a Carbide 275R. So, let's go ahead. Actually, what did this other person want? He needed a 500 gig Mortoni Easy Store, so let's go ahead and order one of those as well. Where are we? Storage. 500 gig, 50 bucks. We'll get it all delivered tomorrow. We'll hit buy it now. We'll go end our day. We can get in our repair and our parts for our builds. And we can get to work. All right. Let's get our parts here. Let's get this that needs to be fixed. We'll put that on a bench. Let's get these cases. So that case goes with Visible James, I believe. And then this case. All right, yeah, that's the, the Corsair case. With a Wiseman. So let's get this case opened up. Probably just need to open up the back side, actually. We just need to replace this hard drive. So let's get that one out of there. And let's get his new one in. Actually, let's sell that piece of junk. And put it down here. Let's cable it up. We'll get a USB drive in. We'll power this guy on. I'm going to go ahead and put this side panel on. We'll let this install the OS, and we should be good to go. Man, that hard drive is slow. There we go. Alright, let's get this side put back on. And we can put this one out in the hall. Be done with that. So let's get started on this Euro Truck Simulator build. Let's see, let's take this side panel off. Okay. We'll get our motherboard in. The Asus Tough motherboard get this ready for RAM and CPU it's getting the i3 8350k as well as two sticks of a data XPG flame do that oops Okay, let's go ahead and get some thermal paste on there, and we can get our CPU cooler installed, which is this Silverstone HE01, that's a big old cooler. Let's get our storage here, our M.2 drive, go ahead and install that. Let's get that PCI lock out of our way. And we can get the graphics card in, which is this EVGA 1060 3 gig. And we can get our power supply in. Then we can start wiring this up. Let's see, maybe we'll go with something kind of yellow or orange. Yeah, that matches. Get everything cabled up here. No. There we go. Where is that power switch? Interesting. 
Okay. Let's get our USB drive in. See if this powers on. We can hop into the BIOS real quick. Turn our XMP on. And we will let the OS get installed. There we go. That purple isn't cutting it for me though. I feel like it should be... What's happening here? There we go. Let's, uh, let's get our lighting app on here and see if we can't fix that purple. To maybe an orange or a yellow or something that at least complements. Let's see. Let's see how that looks. That matches much better. Okay. Let's get our side panels put on and our PCI lock. We should be done with this one. Nice little simple build here. There we go. Nice and clean. Let's get this one out in the hallway. And then finally, we've got this build to play Overwatch on minimum spec, which it's, it should play more like on recommended spec. Let's see. Let's get the motherboard in, the Z270 Gaming Pro Carbon. Get it ready for RAM and CPU. We'll get the 7700K in here, as well as the Trident Z RGB RAM. Let's see. I'm wondering. If we're going to put liquid cooling in this. I'm wondering if it will install up top or if we're going to have to put it in the front. Let's take a look here. What am I looking for? Cooling. So the RAM is in the way, so it's just too wide. But it will install in the front. So let's go ahead and get the front of this case off. Get this fan out of our way. Should we put the fan in the top? Oops. go in the top put it in the middle there let's get our cooler we should be able to get it installed in the front now there we go okay let's see is getting where can we install this we'll go in here no oh here we go get the SSD there let's get our actually let's see if our graphics card will mount here I can get these removed there we go let's get our graphics card in which is the Zotac 1070 mini yeah that works there we can get our power supply in we should be able to cable this up now what do we want to do for cable color this case is all black. It needs some sort of some sort of color. About some cyan. Let's see how that looks in here. 
Oops, that's the power button. That doesn't look bad. Let's get a USB drive in. And before we do this, I feel like this is going to be one of those cases where when I put the front panel back on, it's going to make me have to redo things. Let's go ahead and get the front panel. Let's go ahead and get the top dust filter and top panel installed. Anything else? I'll go ahead and do this PCI lock. Okay. Let's see if it powers on. We're going to have to change that. But let's hop into the BIOS real quick. Let's go ahead and turn our XMP on. I'm not going to overclock anything. If the customer didn't request it, we don't do it. So let's go ahead and put our lighting app on here. Because I already know that all that red, I don't think it looks good with the cyan. We'll see if we can't match that color with the lighting. Can we do all of it? No. What can I not change here? Can I not change the Gaming Pro Carbon? Interesting. Can I change these? Oh, I can't change. No, I don't want yellow. There we go. I think that's just plain white. There's not much I can do about that. I think that looks good. Let's close that out. Let's get this case put back together. We should be able to get this out in the hallway. Let's get this glass panel on. I think that looks pretty good. Okay. It's good to go. Let's get it out in the hall. Let's collect some money. Let's do that one. And this poor guy with his computer viruses. And then this one. Okay. Looks like we have unlocked some new parts. 1080 Ti Mini. MSI MPG Z390 Gaming Pro Carbon. Which is the motherboard I have in my real-life computer here. Whoops. Some more RAM. A Gigabyte Aorus 1080 Ti. So we're starting to unlock some 1080 Ti's now. That's nice. Okay, and then we've got some more emails, which we'll get to in the next episode. So if you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode.